Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Francisco? Let's I think I'm fine. Right, Thank you, and you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. I believe I'm fine too. All right, so ready for the class. All right, how about you, Adriana? How are you? Let's check. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Andre. How are you? Um, very good. Very good. All right. Excellent, Andre. Welcome back to your English class. All right. Let me see. <laughs> Denme un segundo, right? Okay, let's continue, guys. So, what do you do? Today, we're going to finish uh, the midterm exam. And also, we are going to have a short review about all the topics. No, not all the topics, but most likely the topics that we have been learning since, since Friday, I think so, right? So, we're going to have a short review about that. And also we are going to have the midterm exam. So be ready because let me ask you something. How are you doing? Have you finished already the midterm exam? ¿Ya terminaron el midterm exam ustedes? ¿Ya llegaron hasta ahí? Um, yes, yes. All right, excellent. Sí. Entonces me va a ayudar Francisco. <laughs> Somebody else? What about Fabiola and Adriana? Have you get to the midterm exam? ¿Ya terminaron la sección 3? Yo todavía no, teacher. Okay, Yo aún no, teacher. All right, excellent. Bueno, de igual manera ahora vamos a hacer el midterm exam. So I want you to be focused in every moment, right? At every moment. So let's see. Today we are in class number eight. So let's check this information. My dear students, do you remember? We have four questions, all right? And most likely, let me see, some of you will be able to answer, some others, maybe it's going to be a little bit harder for you, right? So let's see, mention at least three activities that you recall. All right, Carla, eh, Carla Fabiola, dígame tres actividades de las que ustedes se recuerda, como handles money, Me agarró en curva, o sea, me, me bloqueé en un momentito, no se me vino ninguna a la mente. Me reseteo después de cada clase, dígame. No, sí, literal. No se preocupe, Fabi, no ve que yo le estaba diciendo a Adri en vez de Fabi, qué vergüenza. I'm sorry. Ah, sí, pero no se preocupe. <risa> eh, es que es similar. It's not very close, but thank you. Let's see. Um, what about you, Francisco? Do you remember? Because yesterday we saw this too. Este, si no mal recuerdo, este, vimos placement of adjectives, adjective nouns, and, and the quizzing structure, and some adjectives like boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. All right, excellent. Now you see that you do remember. About the activities, guys, I meant by saying this, um, for example, handles money, wears a uniform, um, what else? Check tickets, all right? Those are the activities that we have. And let's go with number two, mention the structure of B plus adjective. Let's see, Adriana, Adriana, esa es la más fácil, let's see. Dígame la estructura que vimos ayer del B plus adjective. Um, 
Creo que es el doble. Doble H, se dice, ¿verdad? WH. WH, Gore. And do. And does. And... Esa es, ¿verdad? No. <ríe> Esa es no. para otro tipo de preguntas. Ah, pues no. No, no sé. Ok, Adriana, I need you to take notes, all right? Let's see, Azucena, can you help me, please? Uh, the number two. Yes. Puede yes. oh. <coughs> leerla sí. en su cuaderno. <laughs> sí, este, solo que como vine a la carrera, no he traído mi cuaderno, pero oh. eh, de lo que recuerdo es adjective... A or M plus. Mejor traigo el cuaderno. <laughs> Don't worry, Susana, excellent. I'm just checking over here. But I like what you said. All right. Let me see, guys. Les voy a mostrar. No esperemos para Susana que traiga su cuaderno, all right? Y que nos diga la answer. You guys, you need to start taking notes. Okay, miss. Ahora sí, you are ready. No sé si ya la dijo alguien o siempre. No, 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 si estuvimos esperando la ah. no salve. <laughs> okay, okay, ah, uh, is Article mm -hmm. A M M plus profession plus permítame cuál cuál de las dos es es la de B plus adjective eh, vaya, plus profession mm -hmm. eh, eh, the pronunciation de apostrophe s apostrophe s plus article plus a or M plus adjective plus job. Mm, no, you That's finish fine. on adjective. Termina hasta adjective. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, pues. Okay. <laughs> really good. Now you see. Thank you, Susana. All right. I know it's kind of tough trying to remember the structures, right? It's not even tough, it's stressful. Aparte de difícil que puede ser aprendernos las estructuras porque son un montón, este, también eso es un poco estresante, right? Pero para eso hacemos este tipo de reviews, para que lo que quizás no vemos durante todo el día porque estamos trabajando, lo podamos recordar aunque sea antes de la clase, right? So very good. Thank you, Azucena. Let me go with number three. Create one sentence using... That structure, utilizando la estructura del B plus adjective. Regina, let's see. Yo acabo de entrar. <laughs> ah, let me see. Okay, okay, don't worry, Regina. Let me look uh, for un minuto. De, Dame un minuto, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Do it. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Let's wait for Regina. No, I'm just kidding. All right, don't worry. You know what? We're going to have this review. Vamos a ver de nuevo las estructuras. Y que se me hace que lo voy a volver a poner a hacer sentences, all right? Antes de avanzar con la section four, porque ya mañana vamos con la section four. As far as, as far as I understand and as far as I know, you have to finish section three by today's class, right? With the midterm exam and everything. So that's why I need to go in a hurry. So let's check this. Let me see. Fabiola, can you please tell me the structure? Ahora sí, Fabi. Dígame esta estructura, please. Eh, ¿Quiere que se la lea? Mm -hmm. Exacto. Sí. Yes. Uh, lo primero, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Article. 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 Mm -hmm. um, A o... Oh. And plus profession plus. Esto, como lo digo, es que no sé cómo se. 
cuando uno va, o sea, cuando lo estoy leyendo en inglés, ¿hay alguna forma de, de decir como, no sé, es que no sé cómo explicarlo? Esto es. No, mi cerebro no, no hay cómo explicarle la, la pregunta que le quiero hacer. All right, I know, Fabio. Está como mis niños de, de la mañana. Mire, mi, yo escribí algo, pero ni yo me lo entiendo. Así me sí, que, oh, ay, right. sé, ya, ya me fijé como la yo, clase. Me, yo me tampoco, bloqueé. niños, yo tampoco me entiendo. All right, no, just kidding. Ok, esto es solo para que no se estresen, all right? Me gusta hacer bromas. So, let's see, mm -hmm. Fabi. Cuando tenemos el apóstrofe es, usted puede decir, ya sea dos cosas, decir, cuando está diciendo la estructura, usted puede decir, profession plus apóstrofe es, y la persona que la está escuchando, si es Coco, va a entender que esto se refiere a posesivo, right? Ya le voy a mostrar por qué, Fabio, right? Ya le voy a mostrar mm -hmm. por qué, a dónde lleva la posesión. Pero usted solamente puede decir profession plus possessive o profession plus apostrophe s. Profession plus apostrophe uh, No, pero apostrophe h. Solo así. Uh -huh. Plus verb to be plus adjective. De ahí abajito se dice adjective, boring, Easy, dangerous, exciting, excited, difficult, uh, excited, difficult, difficult, y stressful. Stressful, that's correct. Excellent. <laughs> Very good, Fabi. I know you were not in class yesterday, así que yo la entiendo, right? So, para eso la puse aquí a practicar un ratitín. Let's see, let's move on, guys, with the next slide. Ahora sí, prestemos atención con eso, porque no quiero que se vayan a acostumbrar, a, acostumbrar, a confundir, right? Esta es la estructura del B plus adjective, B plus adjective, right? Esta es la estructura. ¿Y qué tenemos por aquí? A lawyer, right? A, it's my article. A, lawyer. It's my profession or my job, whatever you want to call it. And the apostrophe S or the possessive is going to be next to the profession. According to the structure after this, after the apostrophe S, you are going to have verb to be, right? Which is this one, is. And then you have the object which in this case is hard. Y me van a decir, Miss, pero y job, entonces, ¿en qué entra ahí? All right? Esto va dentro de la profession, all right? Porque estamos hablando de, estamos describiendo basically el trabajo de un abogado, all right? Entonces, por eso, a la profession le vamos a poner el apostrophe S, all right? This is just as a matter of review. Let's move on with the next guy in a structure. Si esta es la de B plus adjective, ¿cuál sería esta? Let's see. B plus noun. Noun. Adjective plus noun. That's okay. correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Adjective plus noun. All right. So there you have it. Let me see Adriana. Adriana nos lee la estructura, please. Article L um, I L um, um, pero ¿cómo se dice an? A or an uh, plus an a an a plus profession um, plus uh, has plus has plus article, plus a, a plus adjective, and plus mm, noun. Noun, job. Exactly. Cuando ustedes ven aquí que dice noun, el noun que vamos a utilizar va a ser el job, all right? Ese va a ser el noun que vamos a utilizar. Let's check the... Cuando digo job, me refiero a la palabra literal job, all right? Ese va a ser nuestro noun. Let's check this. Guiding examples. Let me see. Laura Pamela, can you read 
guiding example number one. A police officer has a dangerous job. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Jaime Ernesto, can you please read number two? An artist has an interesting job. Mm -hmm. That's correct, excellent, thank you. So there you have it, guys, okay? This is basically the structure. Listen, a veces cuando no, quizás no asimilamos bien las estructuras porque pueden ser muy largas, por eso les iba preguntando ayer, hey, do you feel difficult or um, easy? Pero a veces si nosotros sentimos que las estructuras son muy largas y nos va a costar, para eso nos sirven los guiding examples, right? Pues si no entendemos muy bien la estructura, por lo menos el guiding example nos va a ir diciendo qué vamos a ir utilizando, right? El ejemplo es algo clave para que ustedes puedan avanzar en su aprendizaje. All right, guys. Thank you. With this, let's move on to this part. We have these readings, all right? Esto ya era lo último de la parte 3. Asumo o... Oh, no, estoy segura que ya la mayoría terminó la section 3. So let's check this. Vamos a ver cómo está nuestro reading. Ya tenemos algo de tiempo que no hemos hecho los readings. Let me go with Juan Cisco. Juan Cisco. <laughs> Juan Francisco, I'm sorry. Yo quiero avanzar más rápido, Francisco, uniéndole los dos nombres. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see, Francisco. Tell me the information about Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditioned for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Very good reading. All right. Let's do not forget everybody. Everybody, this word is scheduled, all right? It's scheduled. Let me go with John Blues. Let me see. Esmeralda del Rosario, please. Tell me the information about this video game tester. Okay, miss. Lot of teenagers want John Blues job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. It is ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. All right, excellent. Thank you, girl. Very good. Let me go with Jaime Ernesto. Jaime, please tell me again the information about Lisa. Read for me. Okay. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television show. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. That's correct. Excellent. Very good reading. Let's go with Sandra Janina. So let's say, Sandrita, tell me the information about this video gamer. Okay. Lots of, of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a, a high video game company. Is it very boring? Is it every boring? Never. John almost always wine. All right, excellent. Thank you, Sandrita. Very good. All right. So is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. All right. Let's go to the next one. Let me have Dog Walker. All right. Recuerden aquí no es Walker, es Walker. Dog Walker. Uh, let's go with Regina. Tell me the information about Becky Peak. Okay. Becky Pe Becky Peak. Becky Peak. <laughs> ah, okay. Be Becky Peak walk walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Becky is a professional doll walker. 
She walks dog for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Excellent. Thank you, Regina. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let me go with Ronnie. Ronnie, tell me the information about this teacher, Carlos Ruiz. It's a businessman. He spent recent ways almost as speed after school activity. And of course, he teach his salary decent weight, but that's okay. His student like his class, so he's happy. All right, excellent. Thank you, Ronnie. Let me go with Azucena, Azucena, can you please tell me the information about this dog walker? Okay, Miss uh, um, Becky Pick mm -hmm. walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dog for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time that's correct excellent thank you let's see fabiola tell me the information about carlos ruiz um carlos ruiz nah, me trabe. carlos ruiz is a busy man he plans lesson greatest hunger held with after school activities and of course he teacher is salary is aquí como es isn't verdad uh -huh. isn't great isn't great but that's okay is student like his class so he's happy that's great excellent fabiola very good let's go with miguel morales miguel tell me again the information about this dog walker please Perdón, ¿de quién? The dog walker. Ok. Becky Pick. Walk in the park every day for many hours. Ray on shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She's walk dog for the for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park. At, on, at one time. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Now, listen, guys. Before having the next person to read the information about Carlos Ruiz, I'm going to read it for you, okay? Pay attention to this vocabulary, all right? Carlos Ruiz is a busy, busy man. He plans lessons or lessons, grades, homework. All right, listen, yo sé que cuesta un poco leer en otro idioma, all right? Es, no es que cueste un poco, es difícil, all right? Let's be honest, es difícil. Pero siempre tenemos que ir respetando las comas y los puntos, all right? Ese es el motivo por el cual pongo a leerlos a veces hasta tres veces, el mismo vocabulary o el mismo párrafo. So let's see. He plans lessons, grades, homework, helps with after school activities and of course he teaches and of course he teaches all right this is an action his salary isn't great but that's okay his students like his class so he's happy all right let me go with laura pamela laura can you please read the information about carlos ruiz Please. Okay, Miss. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades, homework, helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches. His salary is great, but that's okay. He's a student like his class, so he's happy. Thank you, Laurita, and that's correct. All right, everybody, thank you so much for your readings, for your participation. 
and we finish the class in here. All right, nah, just kidding. You wish, you see it almost, all right? Todavía nos falta el midterm exam, my beloved participants. Mis queridos participantes, vamos al midterm exam, all right? So let's check this thing up. Let me look for, all right, there you go. Here we go, let me see, let's go to the midterm exam. This is your part to shine right like a dime, right? Este es el momento en que se van a lucir todos. Let's see. We have the listening. Instructions. Fabiola, can you please read the instructions? Hey, espérame. Es que con el sombradito no lo distinguía. Vaya, ahí sí. Um, instruction, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer to complete. No. To complete. To com complete, solo sí. Complete a sentence. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. All right. So let's check this thing up. All right. Tengo estas on purpose. Esto es a propósito, right? Porque yo ya lo iba haciendo y les iba a dejar marcadas las respuestas correctas, pero dije no. Let me. Let me make them work on their own, right? So here we go. I'm going to play the audio. I know, I understand that some of you already finished section three and also the midterm exam and congratulations. But, but on the other hand, we have some people that they haven't yet, all right? So let's listen to the audio. Let's pay attention. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. All right, I'm going to play the audio once again. Let's listen carefully, and here we go. One, I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms, that sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay, let's check up those answers. Let's see. Let's see, Jaime Ernesto. Let's see, Jaime, what do you have for number one? There are three bedrooms. All right, excellent, let me check it. Excellent. Thank you, Susana. Very good. Thank you, Jaime. Let's move on. Number two, Miguel Morales. What do you have for number two? No. Let me see, Esmeralda del Rosario. What do you have for number two? Living room. All 
right? Are you sure? Uh, yes. Excelente. <laughs> no me haga dudar, Miss, porque ya lo hice, pero. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry, ya es algo que traigo eh, nato, right? I'm sorry, Esmeralda. Okay, let me go with number three. Let's see. Miguel, veo que tiene su micrófono encendido, let's see. En la 13. Ajá. Microwave, yes. Owen. Pero léame la sentence, ¿cómo sonaría con la... Respuesta. You will need a microwave oven for the kitchen. All right, excellent. Let me check. Let's submit the answers. All right, excellent. Very good, guys. Excellent. There you go. These are the correct responses. All right. So I'm happy for you, please. If you haven't complete yet the midterm exam, this is your time to work on it. All right. I'm going really slow over here for you to take pictures, for you to take notes, whatever you need or whatever you want. B, complete the conversation. Let me see. Regina, can you please read the instructions? Okay, Miss. Instructions. Complete the conversations. Use the simple present of the verbs. Select the option that contains the word to complete the question and answer. Excellent, very good, thank you, Regina. Okay. So let's see, it says, example, right? Do you live alone? No, I don't, right? Then you go with conversation number one. Let's see. Azucena, what do you think is the answer for conversation number one, letter A? Tenemos dos options. Tenemos la primera que sería do and have. Luego tenemos does and have. And then you have do and have again. Do have. Um... Right, are you sure? Uh, yes. Ok, excelente. Thank you, Azucena. Ya vamos a ver, right? Yo les voy a ir haciendo caso. Ok, let's go. Let's move on, let's move on. Yes, it, Francisco. Yes, it does. Yes, it do. Yes, it don't. Or yes, it doesn't, Francisco. Das. All right, thank you. Let's go with conversation number two, Ronnie. What option are you choosing? A, B, or C? Have, to have. Do and have. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Ronnie. What about you, Sandrita? What do you have in letter B? No day? If not, let me check. What do you have, Regina? No, no, day, huh? no, day, no day, John. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's submit the answers. All right, very good. We only have one that it's uh, like almost incorrect. Let's check this one. Por qué? Por qué sería incorrect, right? A mí me suena que va bien, teacher. Okay, your apartment. You're está talking hablando. there. Uh -huh. Ay, perdón. <laughs> Porque no, está hablando del, del, del apartamento. Exactly. Y el apartamento, ¿qué sería, Sandrita? First person singular or third person singular? Es tercera persona, third person. 
Exactly. Third person singular. That's correct. Very good. Recuerden, el da, eh, no, el da. El he, el she y el it. Esos, ¿qué son? Sí sé que son subject pronouns, pero ¿a qué parte están categorizados? ¿Como first person singular o third person singular? Third person singular. Excellent girl, that's correct, very good. Entonces, el it, si ustedes se recuerdan, bueno, y si estuvieron en el level one, aprendieron que el it equivale a objetos, animals, y, and other stuff, right? Any other noun. No, para people. So, that's correct. Thank you, girls. Let me move on. And that's the correct one, all right? Let's just check this so that you don't make this, this mistake. Let's go to... Ajá. Uh -huh. En eso, eh, ahora yo estaba terminando eso y por lo que me guié también, porque es como una conversación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es cuando está respondiendo que es yes, it. Ahí supe que era eh, das. Exactly, Esmeralda. Blow mine. <ríe> Nos explota la mente, right? Cuando en una no tiene sentido, pero luego en la otra sí tiene sentido. <ríe> All right. Excelente, Esmeralda. Thank you. Let's see, guys. Let's move on to letter C. On and scramble the sentences, all right? Listen, yo les estoy pidiendo su participation, pero al mismo tiempo yo quiero irlos ayudando, right? A que si tenemos un gap, un gap es un espacio en blanco, right? Un espacio, un espacio por rellenar. Eso significa gap. Entonces, si llegamos a tener un gap, es ahora es cuando ustedes pueden preguntar, all right? So let's see, we have on a scramble the sentences. Aha, Regina, wow, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, que, uh -huh. what's the meaning uh, on, on a scramble? Es armar. Mm, okay, thank you. Excellent, there you go. Armar o descifrar, right? Tiene diferentes meanings. No, diferentes oh. synonyms. Okay, thank you. Very good, there you go. On a scramble, si estamos hablando de un rompecabezas, sería armar, right? Y ya para en este caso es descifrar. Let's see, we have the instructions. Fabiola, can you please read the instructions? Esta parte no la he hecho todavía, teacher. Y tampoco oh, okay. creo que la pueda hacer bien ahorita. Yeah, no se preocupe, solo le dame las instrucciones. Um, instruction. On scramble the sentence, write a sentence in the correct words. That's correct, Fabi, thank you. All right, my beloved participants. Let's see. We have this part, listen, miren, solo está bien. Está bien fácil, solo tienen tres, all right? So let's check. A veces está algo sencillo, pero por alguna razón se nos vuelve complejo a nosotros, right? Así que por eso los entiendo. A Binder, yo estaba ahí. So let's see. We have the, there isn't a mirror in bedroom. Let's see. ¿Alguien tiene alguna respuesta que le gustaría brindarme si ustedes ya lo hicieron? Yes, teacher. Ajá, let's see. ¿Quién dijo yes, teacher? Sí. Excellent. Ronnie, tell me. Yeah. There is uh, a mirror in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There isn't a mirror in the bathroom. Listen, yes, les voy a decir algo. Thank you, Ronnie. That's the correct one. Si al principio ustedes saben que la están poniendo bien y no se les tira bien la platform, no se desanimen, right? ni se sientan mal ni nada, ni piensen que son ustedes los que no la están haciendo bien. Lo que sucede es que a veces eh, la platform lo toma, si va con capitals, si va con mayúscula la primera letra, la toma. A veces no la toma. Entonces ustedes tienen que ir variando esas cosas. Se los digo por si ya han tenido problemas y ustedes ahorita piensan, Miss, pero yo lo hice así. Right? Let's see, Regina. Eh, a mí me pasó eso, mis, pero yo lo intenté tres veces y mejor así la dejé. 
porque la verdad que por más que la arreglara, lo, o sea, no, no me la corregía. Así ¿Sabe que por mismo, qué? ¿Sabe así, por qué, Regina? Dice, a veces, ajá. Yo así le, me pasó también, le hice varias veces, me salí de la, de la lección y me volví a, a atrás uh -huh. y la volví a hacer y me la hace. Oh, right. Intentó hacer eso, Regina, salirse y luego entrar. No, 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 eso sí, no. Quizás, bueno, si se puede, la voy a corregir, pero si no, ni modo. Sí, yo sí, creo que sí. Teacher, Ajá. Eh, yo la hice toda, va, pero me salieron algunas malas. De ahí la, volví, la borré, la volví a hacer, me volvieron a salir unas malas, la volví a hacer y me salieron mal. Entonces fue cuando me salí y me volví a meter. Ah, y la right. empecé a hacer otra vez y me salieron buenas. Now you see? Entonces eres la vencida. <risa> All right, everybody. Let's see in here. Sí, eso les quería comentar. Miren, a veces, y esto ya los que estuvieron conmigo en el level one ya saben esto, right? Que a veces el apostrophe afecta, porque no es el mismo apostrophe. For some reason, they change the apostrophe. Así que si ustedes logran chequear un apostrophe por aquí, pueden agarrarlo o copiar este mismo, right? Pueden copiar este mismo isn't, porque a veces por el apóstrofe es que no se los agarra, right? So, eso es lo que pueden hacer en ese caso. Y sí, vamos a ver si me lo, si lo agarra aquí. Jesús, gran dislexia. All right. <laughs> now you see in vivo and directo my dear friends all right what's the matter in here let's check this one okay now what's the matter in here let me check there isn't a mirror in the bedroom those are the two options i already have Let's check with this. Okay, let me let me finish the other ones, all right? Vamos a terminar las otras y yo me voy a convencer que sí se puede, right? So let's check. Let's go with number two. Let me have Jaime. What do you have for number two? There are no picture, no pictures in the hall. Okay, there are no pictures in the hole. All right, thank you, sir. And let's go with number three, Laura Pamela. What do you have for number three? A mí esa parte me cuesta, teacher, y no la he hecho. No preocupes, Laurita, que a todos nos está acusando. All right. So let's see. Let me go with Francisco. Francisco, what do you have for number three? There aren't any curtains in the dining room. Okay. Let me write it in here. There aren't any curtains. All right, so let's check, let's submit. Mm -hmm. Why is it still taking it wrong? There aren't, okay, check this up, everybody. Voy a dar copy. <laughs> All right, no, just kidding. No, en serio, esto se los pongo aquí para que vean. Si no se los toma de una manera la platform, como vemos aquí en vivo y en directo, que a la Miss Arevalo no se lo toma, all right? So, 
this is what you can do. Ustedes me pueden escribir y yo les voy a pasar algunas de estas formas, right? For example, ahora creo que me escribieron, me escribieron dos personas para preguntarme eso porque no se las aceptaba la platform, a pesar de que lo estaban poniendo bien. Pero aquí tienen estas opciones ustedes, right? Pueden poner, intentemos poner esta. Teacher, ¿no será que le falta el punto final? Sí, es que eso intenté hacer aquí, fíjese, en number three, pero igual no me lo agarró en number three y también está el punto final. So let me see, bye, ahí sí lo toma. <risa> All right, so that's what I'm telling you. Por eso quiero que se fijen en esta parte de que tienen más de una opción para que puedan lograrlo, right? Ahorita se lo envío Regina por aquí. Mi número es... Yo quiero pensar que se lo estoy dando bien, Regina. Let me make sure, all right? Ok. Let me see. Yes. Ah, pues sí, ya me lo memoricé. Ah, pues sí, Regina, ese es el mío. Ahí puede escribirme. All right, let me go with the other one. Vamos a ver qué pasó con esta, porque la verdad... No sé por qué me tiro el punto ahí. This is still wrong. Let's try with this one. Everything in capital letters. Todo en mayúscula. Vamos a ver cómo lo toma esa. All right. Check this out. Ustedes pueden notar, right? Por aquí. Estas son las options que pueden utilizar. Si no les agarra la platform con las primeras que ustedes pongan, me escriben, me dicen y yo les voy a enviar algunas de esas options. All right. Esperemos que sí, ya si ustedes pueden tomar captura de esto, esperemos que con estas sí les agarre. If not, pueden intentar de diversas maneras y si no, igual pueden escribirme para que yo les pase estas options. Ok. Porque yo sí tengo esa, eh, esa option, esa opción de tener más de una respuesta. Ok. So there you go, everybody. With this, we finish letter C. Let's go with letter D. Select the correct words. Now in this part, it's kind of kind of easier, right? So let's see. Let me go with Sandra Janira. Sandrita, what do you think is the correct answer for letter A? And use words in a hospital. Okay, thank you. Miguel Morales, what do you think is the correct answer for number two? A single tell to people how to tell. Right. Are you, are you sure a singer or a receptionist? Sí, es a receptionist. Mm -hmm. A receptionist. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let me go with Azucena, number three. A touch or a musician or a police officer, my friend. Judge. Judge. All right. Let's submit these answers. And that's correct. Very good. Yay. Excellent, guys. With this, we get to part E, all right? Creí que ustedes solo tenían cinco partes, pero veo que tienen otra todavía. You have part F. Let's see. Select questions to complete the conversations. All right, it says instructions, select questions. And now listen, this one, it's only one C, okay? Aquí no, no van dos C. Select questions to complete the conversations. Look at the example. What do they do? They are nurses. So let's see. Ronnie, what do you have for number one, letter A? And where, where do you work? I work at the restaurant. All right, excellent. Thank you, sir. 
Fabiola, what do you think it's the answer for number two? Um, what does he do? What does he do? All right, excellent, thank you. Francisco, what do you think is the answer for number three? How do they like their, their jokes? Mm -hmm. All right, let's submit these answers. And that's correct, my friends, all right? Those are the correct answers. If you want, you can take notes, a screenshot, whatever you need for you to complete the midterm exam, all right? También recuerden, si ustedes ya lo hicieron y algunas les salieron malas, intenten eh, entrar de nuevo para ver si las pueden corregir, all right? Porque a veces, como les digo, no es que ustedes no sepan, sino que a veces solo nos falta o una letra o el punto, o simplemente la platform no lo toma de una manera y tenemos que intentar de diversas maneras, right? Pero yo les recomiendo que vuelvan a entrar. Right? At least, Miss Arevalo has no problem with it. Yo no tengo ningún problema con eso, right? Complete the conversations. Let's go. Instructions. Complete the conversations. Uh, select the verb be or have in each case. Let's go with the first one. It says, a receptionist has a relaxing job. I agree. I think a receptionist, a receptionist's job is safe, all right? Let me go with Regina. What do you think is the correct one in here, Regina? Um, a singer has, a, has an exciting job. La tercera, third. Excellent, very good. Thank you, girl. Okay. Um, let me see. I disagree. I think a singer's job, Adriana, solo tiene dos options. ¿Cuál escoge, Adriana? Eh, yo no he llegado a ese punto, pero creo que es... Is Biden, creo, no sé. Okay, I disagree. I think a singer's job, vamos siguiendo, la, let's follow in the conversation. Aquí ella dice, a singer has an exciting job. Y la otra le dice, no estoy de acuerdo. I disagree. I think a singer's job, Sandrita, what's the correct one for you? It's boring. Okay, excellent, thank you. The same answer as Adriana, thank you. Let's go with conversation number two, a flight attendant. Let me see, Laura. Number two is a flight attendant has a stressful job. Uh, option num the number two. That's correct, excellent, thank you, girl. Esmeralda del Rosario. I agree. Lerby. I agree. It is stressful. All right, excellent. Very good. Vamos siguiendo la conversation. Excellent. Azucena, number three. A cashier's job. It's not easy. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Ronnie, letter B. Vamos a ver, Ronnie. Um, um. Has uh, number number one has a difficult I receive a cashier at uh, right. Let me check this one. No se preocupen, okay. all right? Ahorita. Uh, <laughs> ah? No, no estoy preocupado. All right. Okay, good, <laughs> good. I'm happy. Excellent. Yeah. All right. 
No, no, les decía que no se preocuparan porque sé que algunos no han llegado hasta esa parte todavía, pero estamos intentando, right? De lo ya que... lo pasé. Ok, Ronnie, very good. <laughs> Let me go with... Okay, there you go. So in this case, letter A is easy, all right? Very good. Don't worry, honey, it happens, all right? This is the correct one. A cashier's job is easy, all right? Solo hay que fijarnos en esta parte. Miren, cuando dice I disagree, es lo mismo. Es como decir no estoy de acuerdo, right? Y en este caso, I agree, estoy de acuerdo, right? Si vamos viendo eso en la conversation, tal vez se nos haga un poquito más fácil reconocer cuál es el que vamos a utilizar, right? But don't worry, you are learning. So I'm okay with that, all right? So let's submit, and that's it, everybody. You finish your midterm exam, all right? Así que pueden ver esta recording las veces que sea necesario para que logren sacar buena nota en su midterm exam. Y espero que con esto hayan quedado un poco, eh, pues, más rellenitos de conocimiento, right? <ríe> si teníamos un gap, si teníamos un espacio en blanco, pues hoy ya lo rellenamos, ¿ok? Con esto terminamos section three. Let me stop the sharing over here. And let me go back to the PPT, right? We still have a couple of minutes. So ya tenemos un par de minutos, right? So tengo esta. I have this practice for you. Pero esto ya no lo alcanzamos a llenar en los minutos que tenemos. So don't worry. Lo vamos a hacer mañana porque esto solo es practice con el going to. No, con el simple present, right? So let's see everybody. <clears throat> It has been a pleasure to be here with you. Please, I will let you go now for you to work on your midterm exam. If you have any questions, I'm going to be stayed up all night, all right? So you can ask me and I'm gonna help you, all right? I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we start section okay. four, so please do not miss the class, all right? Okay. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, bye. Thank you, Michelle. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye, Marachita. Good night, Marachito. <laughs> See you tomorrow <laughs> in the world. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Por aquí alguien dijo algo. Okay. Oh. I think nobody. All right. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.